Transport in Ethiopia Transport in Ethiopia is overseen by the Ministry of Transport and Communications. Over the last years, the Ethiopian federal authorities have significantly increased funding for rail and road construction to build an infrastructure that allows better economic development. Ethiopia is building a standard gauge railway network, the National Railway Network of Ethiopia, planned to consist of up to 5,000 kilometers of railways in a number of years. The railway network serves a strategic goal to allow Ethiopia sustainable and stable economic development. The railway network's primary purpose is then both to connect landlocked Ethiopia to the world market by ensuring a seamless access to one or several seaports for trade and for transporting most imports and exports. The rail transport of goods appears favorable, if compared to road transport, in terms of volume, costs, safety and speed of transportation for both imports and exports. The primary port for Ethiopia is the port of Djibouti and Djibouti. More than 95% of Ethiopia's trade passes through Djibouti. The port of Djibouti is served by one international railway, the electrified standard gauge 756 km long Addis Ababa, Djibouti Railway, of which 656 km run in Ethiopia. This railway has officially been opened in October 2016 but it is in trial service with no regular traffic in 2017. Once operational by the end of 2017 or in 2018, it will allow passenger transport and a travel time from Addis Ababa to Djibouti City in less than 12 hours with the designated speed of 120 km slash hour. Another railway, the Awash, Haragebe Railway will go into trial service over its first 270 km in 2018. This second railway links Addis Ababa and the Addis Ababa, Djibouti Railway with the north of Ethiopia. Once operational over its first 270 kilometers, possibly 2018 or 2019, it will allow both freight and passenger transport. A train ride from Addis Ababa to the twin cities of Kambolcha and Desi will be possible in around six hours with a designated speed of 120 kilometers slash hour. Road projects now represent around a quarter of the annual infrastructure budget of the Ethiopian federal government. Additionally, through the Road Sector Development Program, RSDP, the government has earmarked $4 billion to construct, repair and upgrade roads over the next decade. As the first part of a 10-year Road Sector Development Program, between 1997 and 2002 the Ethiopian government began a sustained effort to improve its infrastructure of roads. As a result, as of 2002 Ethiopia has a total, federal and regional 33,297 kilometers of roads, both paved and gravel. The share of federally managed roads in good quality improved from 14% in 1995 to 31% in 2002 as a result of this program, and to 89% in 2009 the road density increased from 21 kilometers per 1,000 kilometers, in 1995 to 889 kilometers per 1000 kilometers in 2009 however this is much greater than the average of 50 kilometers per 1000 kilometers for africa the ethiopian government had begun a second part of the road sector development program which was completed in 2007 this had involved the upgrading or construction of over 7500 kilometers of roads with the goal of improving the average road density for Ethiopia to 35 km per 1,000 km, and reduce the proportion of the country area that is more than 5 km from an all-weather road from 75% to 70%. According to the government of Ethiopia, it has spent over 600 billion per, USD 50 billion dollars, 30 billion euros, on infrastructure since 1990. Major roads include BR No. 1. Northeast from Addis Ababa 853 km via Dama and Awash to Berea on Eritrean border BR No. 2, north from Addis Ababa 1071 km via Desi, Mikhaili and Adigrat to Aksum BR No. 3, northwest from Addis Ababa across the Blue Nile at Dahan and again at Bahir Dar East around Lake Tana 737 km to Gondar. Designated part of the Cairo Cape Town Trans African Highway 4, TA 4 BR No. 4. West from Addis Ababa 445 km via Nekmt to Gimbi BR No. 5, West from Addis Ababa 510 km via Jima to Mitu BR No. 6, Southwest from Jima 216 km to Mizan Teferi BR No. 7, South from Mojo 432 km via Shashamane and Soto to Arba Minch. Part of road between Mojo and Shashamane is designated part of the Cairo Cape Town Trans African Highway 4, TA 4 BR No. 8. South from Shashamane 214 km via Wasa to Hikari Mariam. 
designated part of the Cairo Cape Town Trans African Highway 4, TA 4 BR No. 9, south from Adama 77 km to Asela BR No. 10, east from Awash 572 km via Harar and Jijiga to Dijhabar. The Addis Ababa Adama Expressway was completed in 2014 as the first expressway in Ethiopia. In December 2015, Construction began on a second expressway between Awasa and Mojo, where it will connect to the existing expressway. In addition, the Ethiopian Roads Authority, ERA, has undertaken a three-year project to upgrade over 370 kilometers of roads in the country. Contracts have been signed with the Ethiopian Defense Construction, China Railway Engineering, ANA Construction, China Wui, Yotek Construction and FAL General Contractor. It is said that Ethiopia has the highest rates of traffic fatalities per vehicle in the world. This is due to many factors. For example, the roads are poorly maintained, lightened and marked, which are major factors in road accidents. Another major factor is the people themselves, who ignore the rules of the road. Their disregard of road safety puts every other driver at risk. Due to this, foreigners are advised to keep a safe distance from the car in front of them because if driving is unpredictable, anything can happen in the blink of an eye. Even the surroundings involving transport can be incredibly dangerous. For example, there are instances when carjackings and robberies occur on highways or streets that are away from the public eye. Due to this, people are forced to be highly alert of their surroundings, such as checking to make sure no one is lurking around their vehicle before entering and avoiding nighttime travel. Ethiopia is landlocked and was by agreement with Eritrea using the ports of Aseb and Massawa until 1997, since the Eritrean Ethiopian War. Ethiopia has used the port of Djibouti for nearly all of its imports. Ethiopia increasingly relies on inland dry ports for distributing cargo, after cargo arrived from Djibouti. The main Ethiopian dry port is Mojo Dry Port. Only one river, the Baro is used for transport. Total, nine ships, with a volume of ore over, 2003A. BR ships by type, cargo ship 7, container ship 1, petroleum tanker 1, Roll on slash roll off ship 3, 1999A, 1, 2003A. There were an estimated 84 airports in 2005, only 14 of which had paved runways as of 2005. The Addis Ababa Airport handles international jet transportation. Before the Ethiopian Civil War, the national carrier, Ethiopian Airlines, flew to numerous African, Asian, and European cities, and had sole rights on domestic air traffic. In 2003, about 1.147 million passengers were carried on domestic and international flights. Total, 14 less than BR over 3,047 meters, 3 less than BR 2,438 to 3,047 meters, 5 less than BR 1,524 to 2,437 meters, 5 less than BR 914 to 1,523 meters, 1, 2003A. Total, 68 less than BR over 3,047 meters, 3 less than BR 2,438 to 3,047 meters, 2 less than BR 1,524 to 2,437 meters, 13 less than BR 914 to 1,523 meters, 27 less than BR under 914 meters, 23, 2003A. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.